Welcome to another Siler Geospatial Tech video. My name is Joe Madai, GPS GIS Application Specialist for Siler Instrument, and in today's video we will be setting up the Trimble DA2 with Esri Field Maps. Before we go in and set up the DA2 antenna with field maps, I want to go over some brief requirements that are necessary before continuing in this video. You're going to need a Trimble DA2 Catalyst antenna, the subscription for your accuracy that you have purchased, the application Trimble Mobile Manager, and the Esri Field Maps application. Once you have these downloaded to your device, Android or iOS, you can now continue on with the video. Now that I have my apps downloaded to my device, we are going to pair the DA2 antenna to the iPad that I currently have now. I'm going to click the button on the bottom of the DA2 and it's going to flash blue, meaning that it's in pairing mode before you can connect it to a device. So on iOS, I'm going to go into settings, go to my Bluetooth, and then I'm going to wait for my DA2 antenna to show up in my devices. I have clicked on the DA2 and now that you can see it is connected inside of my iOS. And now it's asking me if Mobile Manager would like to send me notifications, including alerts. I'm going to click Allow, and now we are able to do our setup inside of Trimble Mobile Manager. So now I'm going to open up Trimble Mobile Manager, and the first time that you open this up, you're going to see End User License Agreement for Mobile Manager. I'm going to go ahead and click Accept, and then I'm going to click Sign In. If you do not have a Trimble ID, you can create this through the application is, itself. But for right now, I am going to log in with my Trimble ID. And once I've put my username and password in, it's going to now ask me if Mobile Manager would like to use Bluetooth. I'm going to click OK. And we need to connect to the Trimble DA2. If you have Bluetooth to your DA2 properly, you will see that light underneath the DA2 antenna is no longer flashing blue, but is a solid blue now. That means you're connected and paired to the device. So I'm going to go to connect to position source and select position source, and then hit list connected devices. And there's my DA2 antenna. I'm gonna click on the antenna, and then go ahead and hit connect. Now I'm connected to the DA2 antenna, I'm inside, I don't have GPS at the moment, uh, but I can now do my setup so that way we can use this inside of Esri Field Maps. As you notice, I have access to both a Catalyst 1 subscription, which will get me one centimeter level accuracy, then I also have my on-demand hours. For now, I'm just going to use my Catalyst 1 subscription and do setup uh, so that way it will go into Esri Field Maps. In the upper left hand corner, you will see three bars and I'm going to click on those three bars and we're going to go down to GNSS configuration. Now, once we go into the GNSS configuration, we will see that it's automatically going to use the Auto Trimble Corrections Hub. When you buy Trimble Catalyst, you actually get access to both VRS Now and RTX subscriptions. The only thing that I need to change is the GNSS output. So instead of select from list, I'm going to select from auto. And as long as you're in the United States, it's going to output that coordinate system to NAT 83 2011. And for my geoid model for elevations, I'm going to select geoid 18 conus and then hit done. It's going to take a second, but it's going to download a 32 megabit file for your elevations. And this is your setup inside of Trimble Mobile Manager. Now we can move on to setting up this information inside of Field Maps. Now we are going to pair that DA2 antenna inside of Field Maps. I'm going to open up my Field Maps application. I'm already signed in. I just need to go in now to the settings and add the DA2 antenna. 
In the upper left-hand corner in iOS, you will see a blue character. I'm going to click on him, and this will actually take me to the settings for location. As you can see, the provider is set to integrated at this moment in time. And what I want to do is click on provider, and in the upper right-hand corner, click add. As you can see, the DA2 antenna is now part in the application itself, and I'm going to click add. And then I have to set my antenna height. For that, I'm going to put two meters because I have a two meter fixed pole, and then I'm going to click done. The DA2 has now been added into my list for location providers, but it has not been selected as it's still relying on the integrated GPS of the iPad. Once I click on the DA2, it's then going to ping over to Trimble Mobile Manager and make that connection. And now we see the check mark is right next to the DA2 antenna. I'm going to click profile in the upper left hand corner and go back. And now I have to go in and set up a default profile to make sure that it is in the correct coordinate system as my maps in ArcGIS Online. So I'm going to go into profile and instead of default, I'm going to add a DA2 profile. So I'm going to click add in the upper right hand corner again and it's asking for the GNSS coordinate system. So the GNSS coordinate system is going to be NAD 83 2011. I am just typing in the numbers that go with that coordinate system, which is GCS NAD 83 2011. Now it's asking for the map coordinate system, which once again, I'm going to type in the numbers 3857. And that I'm looking for is the WGS 1984 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. Now we just zoom into our map extent of where we're at. I'm going to hover over St. Louis and I'm going to click next. And then it's going to ask me that I need a datum transformation. I'm going to select the first one in the list, the WGS 1984 ITRF 08 to NAD 83 2011. Click done. And then I'm going to name it a profile name. So I'm going to put name this DA2 and click save. And now I have that DA2 as a location profile. So now not only are you set up with the provider, but you're also set up for the profile to go into DA2. So now all I need to do is open up my map and I'm ready to go start collecting data inside of field maps with the catalyst DA2 antenna.